Today we're going to be adding another cash cow to Kale and Dave's investment portfolio. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and this, folks, is the interactive show, the most interactive show we have on Holton Wise TV. The other shows, you know, you have the ability to come in, buy properties directly from us that we are selling on the Investment Properties for Sale show. If you haven't seen it, you're probably going to want to check it out. That show has made us the number one seller of investment properties in the Cleveland market. Uh, but as much as I love that show, uh, and it's great for investors because it provides you guys the most transparent look into this business because we provide full video tours of all of our inventory, where it lacks is that one-on-one -on -one interaction, right? Because there's so many people, right? If you look at uh, our subscriber count, we're you know about 41,000 subscribers deep, and uh, you know we've had millions of views on our channel here, right? Holton Wise TV is, is watched by a lot of people, okay? So when a lot of people are watching it, there's that room for one-on-one -on -one interaction, and there's a lot of people trying to buy these properties. So what we did is we created this show, the MLS Search and Analysis Show. This is the show where I work with you one-on-one -on -one based on your wants, your needs, your criteria, and I try to find the very best investments for you. Now, these investments that I find for you, they are not properties that I am being paid by anyone to sell. You are able to go to HoltonWise.com, click the Property Search for Sale tab, order a package. Usually people do the three-pack, four-pack, or the 10 pack because it's a numbers game uh, and it creates a long term relationship between the two of us, right? You are able to hire me. And I will give you my unbiased opinion, and I will check out any property you want. If you found a property that was uh, presented to you by a wholesaler or for sale by owner or you're doing direct mail, I will give you my take on it. Uh, if you want, I will look at the MLS and check out properties that are offered by any of the other 5,000 realtors. And a couple of dudes that I've been doing a lot of this for are my guys Dave and Kale. If you're a regular viewer of the show, I'm sure you guys have seen me talk about them quite a bit. These two dudes. Uh, there are a couple of oil and gas fellas uh, out west, right? And these guys are building a huge out-of-state rental portfolio. A little bit younger, younger guys. They got a lot of years uh, to grow this portfolio. It's a get-rich-in-the-long-term game. And this property, dudes, I, I thought of you as soon as I saw it. It's been on the market in 19 days. 48 11 Icorn Ave, Cleveland 44102, listed at 79900 Now, this property, I like it because it's, it's, it's in the same general neighborhoods that you guys have been targeting, right? What we are trying to do with you guys' portfolio is get properties at good prices, right? We're trying to, you know, get some lowball offers going because you guys have a lot of cash. Sellers love cash. Uh, we're trying to target properties that I think the listing agent did a lackluster job or that for whatever reason it has to do with the house, I think there's not as much competition. Uh, a lot of the properties that we are working with are in D-class, uh, you know, our D-class assets, right? But they're very close to that metro health area where there's going to be a billion dollars of investment coming. So we're looking at it a long term, right? On a long term play here. Like I said, you guys are a little bit younger. So we got a lot of years here to weather some storms and we are targeting Section 8 tenants because we know there's risk factors, right? So that's why I like this one. The first thing I want to talk about about this one is the duplex in Cleveland. It's only got one photo, which isn't necessarily out of the norm for us, right? You guys are used to a lot of the shows I do for you where it's only got one photo. But this, this is where it drives me nuts, right? It's unexplainable, right? Usually it's because the tenant is a problem. Uh, that is not the case here. There's really no reason for this. Great investment opportunity for an investor or homeowner. This duplex is an up and down with two beds and one bath on each floor. The upstairs is rented at six fifty a month, and the downstairs is ready to be rented or owner occupied. And then just some other realtor jargon that's irrelevant, right? But what? What's up with this? The downstairs is ready to be rented or owner-occupied. So they are claiming the downstairs is number one vacant, which it is. 
We have no reason to believe it's not, but they're com- they're claiming that it's rat ready, ready to go. Well, where's the pictures, dude? Why why ain't there no pictures, right? Why aren't you showing me that? Why is this all I get, right? What's happening here? And it's not like it, it was just listed yesterday either, right? It's not like it just got listed yesterday. It's been on the market for 19 days, bro. We're about three weeks into this. We ain't got not one picture of this empty unit that's apparently rent ready. I call BS, dude. So uh, I don't want you guys... Uh, to waste any time thinking that you guys are getting one unit occupied and another unit that's rent ready. It's, it don't make no damn sense. There there would be some proof uh, proof to that, right? So I don't think that's the case. But when we do get it rent ready, we're going to get a ton of rent, y'all. Right now, the other the other unit, 650 is what it's bringing in. Uh, the downstairs, we'll be able to get 750 from Section 8, no problem. So let's call it 1400 a month, 16800 a year. Yes, the upstairs, we could increase to 750 eventually, but it would make no sense for us to remove that upstairs tenant, right? We also don't have pictures of the upstairs unit, but I've been doing this business a long time. You ain't ever, you know, removing a tenant and then slapping a new one in uh, by doing nothing but, like, you know, sweeping, right? You're going to spend some money, so ain't no uh, rhyme or reason to, to do that, right? 650 is good enough. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. Okay, let's take that 650 right now. Yeah, maybe we'll want to increase the rent slowly, but there ain't nothing wrong with getting 650 in this neighborhood, okay? Yes, we can max it out at 750, but we want to do that at natural turnovers. We don't want to create artificial turnovers, right? Because of the 14 hundo that's going to come in, 16,800 a year. I anticipate we'll spend an average of 731 or 8772, leaving us with an NOI of 669, 8028. And that's, of course, as you dudes know, that is me calculating for average repairs and maintenance. Now, you don't have $70 to repairs every month. We're about to renovate that downstairs unit because I don't believe a word they're saying that it's rent ready. We'll get into that in a second. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and calculate 70 bucks, right? That's probably going into you guys' pocket. But I know eventually when we do have a turnover, like that upstairs unit, we're probably going to spend three, four, five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000 on that turnover, right? So we're going to calculate. We're going to save the 70 right? As far as vacancy and non-payment goes, you guys know we're, we're getting some low-income neighborhoods. But we're alleviating the risks with Section 8, but that don't mean it's riskless. There ain't no riskless investing, especially not in D-class assets. So we're going to save 70 for that. And then CapEx, right? We're getting no information from these sellers, but based upon the price point here, I know we're not getting brand new furnace, brand new roof, brand new hot water tank. Roof, house like this, I don't know, sixty-five, dollars $7,500, rather, $7,500, not $75,000, right? That's what a roof will be. Furnaces, two of them, three Gs apiece. They last approximately 30 years. The roof I just mentioned also should last about 30 years. Hot water tanks, Two of those last about 15 years, cost about a G, right? Do I think that we're going to have to replace all of those in the near future, the next like 6 to 12 months? Probably not. Do I think they're all brand new? No, I don't even believe that the thing is rent ready, right? So we're going to calculate that in, and we're, of course, going to build that into our offer. And then, on top of that, when we get the inspection report, we could possibly renegotiate. So... With all that stated, 669 is a quality estimate for your average NOI, $8,028 a year. As far as the price, I want you guys to pick it up at. I do not want you guys to pay $79.9. I don't think you have to, okay? First of all, the, the seller, the cat that's selling this property, he bought it dose years ago for $66,500. Now, I'm not a guy that's like, yo, look up what the seller paid and then offer him that. He'll sell it to you. That's that's flawed thinking, right? A lot of people think that way. So I don't want to, like, advocate to you guys that, yo, just figure out what the seller paid and he'll sell it to you for that same price. He won't, right? The seller's going to sell it to you for what it's worth. But I think the seller's got a couple things working against him, okay? I don't think that this is being listed appropriately. Like, dude... It's goofy, right? You can't see the upstairs. Fine. That makes sense, right? There's a tent in there. They're going to bother you. But how are you going to claim to me that you have this, like, fully rent-ready, ready-to-rock-and-roll downstairs unit, but you can't get any pictures? That doesn't make any sense. So either this agent 
is lying. Uh, I'm not going to accuse uh, someone of lying, but if they're not lying, in my opinion, I think they're inadequate at their job, right? Like, what's up with that? So it's not being uh, marketed correctly, so I don't think they'll get the 79.9. And you guys have cash, so I'd like to see you guys pick it up at 65 Gs. And I have factored in $10,000 of renovations because I do not think that we're going to get a rent ready unit. Maybe there is rent ready to the seller standards, but I don't think it's going to be rent ready to my standards, the standards that's going to get us a Section 8 tenant at 750. So we're going to go ahead and factor in 10 Gs. So that's 75 Gs. Now, we're going to want to put this under contract contingent on inspection. I'm anticipating mid to end of life on the roof, hot water tanks and furnaces. I don't think anything going to be new, but I'm not saying all of them are trash and we got to replace them. If for some reason it turns out we have to replace a bunch of that stuff immediately, we can go back to those sellers and I think we'll want to renegotiate that, uh, that $65,000 price point because the $10,000 I'm factoring in is more or less a fund that I know is going to get us a rent ready downstairs unit. It's It's very rare that I can't put a, a, a unit together for $10,000 unless it's like totally just freaking gutted out, destroyed, right? So with that in mind, 65 plus the 10, 75K for the investment to mid to end, to get us a property with mid to end of life mechanicals. If the inspection determines those mechanicals are all types of fucked up, we're going to go back to them sellers. I'm going to try to negotiate a little bit more off for you guys, right? But if it all works out that way, this is a 10.7 cap. And if you guys wanted to do a refinance after everything, not even going to claim that we're trying to do like a burr because we're not really doing much with the numbers I've given you. We're just putting the other unit back together. So we're not really adding value. So let's just say it appraises at what we've got into it, 75 Gs. If we do that, bank gives us back 56250 You guys end up with only 18750 bones into the deal. And that is a 27.7% average cash on cash return. Fits into your portfolio right in the same neighborhood. You guys have been acquiring a ton of properties. So I saw it. I thought... For all the reasons mentioned uh, that it would work great for you guys' portfolio, so reply to the private link. Let me know. Uh, of course, we're also going to keep our eye out there. I know you guys have a bunch of properties uh, left on your packages. You guys are trying to build one of the biggest portfolios, one of the biggest out-of-state portfolios uh, we have here in the Cleveland market. So, of course, you got the Holton Wise team as your boots on the ground, always keeping an eye out the next moment I get a property that fits with what you guys want. Me and the team will get back uh, to making videos. And then, of course, again, let me know what you guys want to do on this one. And that's all I've got for today's show, folks. Everybody else who may be watching this who isn't Dave and Kale, if you're watching this, it's probably a couple months after I sent this to them privately and all the transaction and the negotiations and the inspections, all that is probably done and over with. I release these shows after the fact publicly so you can all learn for free. So if you're a new viewer, this is the first time you've watched Holt Wise TV and you're trying to learn about real estate investing, do yourself a solid and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Field, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. 
For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry, certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year. You get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email, and chat, who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from health. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.